Today is day two for our critical MSL baby, the tiny fighter who came to us in a very serious condition. Yesterday, we received this baby immediately after delivery with thick meconium-stained liquor, MSL, and severe respiratory distress. The baby was struggling to breathe, the oxygen levels were dangerously low, and we had to act within seconds. Now, 24 hours later, we are here with an update, a story filled with struggle, hope, and tiny signs of improvement. Every heartbeat, every breath counts. This is not just a medical case. It's a story of survival, care, and love. Before we go into the baby's condition today, let me briefly explain for our viewers. MSL, meconium stained liquor, happens when the baby passes stool, meconium, inside the mother's womb before birth. This meconium can mix with the amniotic fluid, and during delivery, the baby can inhale, aspirate, it into the lungs. This condition is called meconium aspiration syndrome, MAS, and it can cause severe breathing difficulty, infection, and lung collapse. That's why babies born through MSL need immediate resuscitation and NICU care. Yesterday, when the baby arrived, the situation was extremely serious. The baby was floppy, not crying, and cyanosed, bluish color. We started suction immediately to clear thick meconium from the mouth and airway. Oxygen saturation was only around 50%, and the baby was gasping. We started bag and mask ventilation, followed by intubation for proper breathing support. Adrenaline and fluid bolus were given as per resuscitation protocol. After several minutes of intense effort, the baby started showing faint spontaneous movements and a weak cry. That was the moment we knew. This baby wanted to fight. We shifted the baby to the NICU, placed under a radiant warmer, and started on mechanical ventilation with oxygen and antibiotics. This morning, when I entered the NICU, the first thing I saw was this tiny baby moving slightly, the chest rising gently. The oxygen saturation today is around 90 to 94 percent, a big improvement from yesterday's critical levels. Let's go step by step through the baby's current condition. The breath sounds are now more bilateral and clear, though still with mild crepitations due to residual meconium. Chest X-ray shows improving aeration, which is a very encouraging sign. Our target is to wean off the ventilator gradually as the baby maintains stable oxygenation. The heart rate remains stable between 130 to 150 BPM. We are giving four fluids and antibiotics to maintain hydration and prevent infection. Capillary refill time is normal, which indicates good perfusion. In babies with MAS, we always watch for persistent pulmonary hypertension of the newborn, PPHN, a condition where lung blood vessels remain constricted. Thankfully, this baby is not showing major signs of PPHN yet. The baby is still NPO, nil per oral, meaning no milk by mouth, as we continue four fluids. Feeding will be started slowly once the baby's oxygen demand and respiratory rate stabilize. We may start expressed breast milk via orogastric tube in small volumes, one to two milliliters, later today or tomorrow. Mother's milk is the best medicine for recovery. Since MSL babies are at high risk of pneumonia and sepsis, we started broad spectrum four antibiotics from day one. We've sent blood cultures and the baby's CRP levels are being monitored. So far, there are no alarming signs of infection, which is a positive update. We maintain strict aseptic techniques in NICU, hand hygiene, sterile suctioning, and minimal handling, because even a small infection can be life-threatening for these fragile newborns. The parents have been visiting regularly, standing quietly by the incubator, whispering prayers. Yesterday, the mother could barely speak. Early initiation of breast milk feeding boosts recovery and immunity. This video is made for educational purposes, to create awareness about neonatal care and critical management of MSL babies. We will continue to monitor this baby closely and share updates as the journey continues. Please keep this little fighter in your prayers. If you're a parent watching this, remember, early medical help can save lives. And if you're a medical student or nurse, let this case inspire you to treat every patient with compassion and precision. This video is shared for educational and awareness purposes, to highlight the importance of timely neonatal care and teamwork in NICU. Thank you for watching.
Stay connected for day three update. And don't forget to subscribe to support our mission of spreading medical awareness and hope.